Hey everybody, this is Everyday Commentary, and this is a video overview of this knife. And this knife is the special edition version of this knife. These are both uh, new to the CRKT lineup. They're designed by Ken Onion. They're released in 2021. And I happened to get some production samples in early so I could get uh, some feedback and hopefully post a review. These knives are both the CRKT Bonafide. This is the special edition version. This one is released in limited numbers. This is one of two production versions and it will run through the entire year and hopefully into the year after that. This knife runs, uh, it has titanium handles that are bronze washed and it has a S35 VN blade. This knife has uh, aluminum handles and a D2 blade. Both of them carry the brand new and quite great uh, quick uh, release system that uh, CRKT has been running. Uh, it allows you to disassemble the knives in the field, and hence its name is Field Strip. So this is Field Strip 2.0. It is fantastic. I love Field Strip before. It's better now. So let me talk to you a little bit about these knives, but before we get into what I like and what I don't like, let's do some size comparisons. So this is a size comparison between the, the Bonafide and the... Benchmade mini grip. As you can see, the Benchmade mini grip is significantly smaller. This is a full three and a half inch blade. It is a big knife. It comes in at 5.6 ounces. So it's a pretty heavy knife, especially for the knives I generally carry. The knife also um, has, as you can see, a liner lock, and I'll show you in a second. It comes on uh, bearings. The blade stock on both versions is quite thick. It's a big, big, beefy knife. Um, the the motif on this is a Hawaiian motif. And as you can see, there's some sort of tribal art patterns here from Hawaii, which is Ken Onion's native state. The knife deploys via a flipper and the flipper action on both models is good. Ironically, I think I like the flipper action a little better on the D2 version. Um, and I'm not exactly sure why that's the case. So uh, you can, the last thing I wanted to point out is it has this backspacer that also has the lanyard hole. So this is a nice way to do a lanyard hole that doesn't entirely screw up the knife, everyone. So if you're thinking about doing lanyard holes, think about them in a little different way. Don't like say, well, let's put a lanyard hole and screw up this whole knife handle. Um, these are brand new clip designs or relatively new clip designs. I think this is actually the second or third year that they've run them, um, but they're shortening them up a little bit. These are good deep carry over the pocket top over the top pocket clips, and as you can see, they are nested into the handle. Uh, field strip two works really easy. Ready? I will disassemble this knife. Done. That's it. It took me four seconds. As you can see here, there's uh, bearings on this one, and you can see the liner lock, and the liner lock is nested inside the titanium, the bronze titanium handles. And let's see if I can put, there we go. Ready? I'm now going to reassemble this knife. I feel like this is like kind of like a magic trick. There's nothing to get synced up in the back as before. There's no wheel to crank. You just pull, it'll lock into place, pull it in, and you're done. So if you want a knife that you can take apart really easily, this is the knife. There is no tools necessary and it comes apart and it feels great in the hand. It's nice and solid, no blade play. Curiously enough, I have switched these over so that I've had the, the S35VN blade in the D2 blade handle, and they have slightly different tolerances, but they still lock up perfectly solid. So um, here's the knife in comparison to an American dollar. As you can see, it's a pretty big knife. It is relatively thick. It is uh, just slightly thinner than a AA battery. So let's talk about what I like. I love the flipping action. Flipping action, even on this version, which I think is actually not quite as good as my production version or the regular production version, is really nice. I also like the handle. The handle is great. It's a simple handle. The way that the blade, uh, the way that the handle works, it kind of puts this uh, the hump of the uh, pocket clip out of your palm. So if you have regular medium-sized hands, which I do, then it's sort of, you know, hidden underneath the fat part of your thumb and it keeps you in the game in terms of cutting much longer. I also like the fact that this is a reduced size uh, flipper tab. 
Um, this is something that Nick complains about, but like some of the flipper tabs on knives are just huge, like this big. Having it a little smaller gives it a much nicer experience in the pocket. Um, I also really like the blade finish here. You know, the satin finish that CRKT's OEMs use is just amazing. This is a really beautiful satin finish. The edge is razor sharp. And they've done this transition here with this swedge quite nicely. And I think that sort of gives the knife its its unique character. If you look at it, it kind of looks like a humpback whale. So uh, another homage to Hawaii maybe, but this is a beautiful knife. Um, the texturing when this first came was super, super grippy. This isn't really texturing, it's just lasering, but it is super grippy. It's gotten a little less grippy, but I still probably prefer the D2 version. Uh, the D2 version is exactly the same, except the blade is different and the handles are textured differently with different material. And the CRKT logo, the word mark is bigger. Um, they both have the Ken Onions logo. They have their model number. This one says Bonafide, this one doesn't. Um, if you're looking at a knife and you want something a little bigger, something that you can disassemble and something that's good in the pocket, I'm, I'm hard pressed to find a knife that's better than this from CRKT. This is a really great design. If it was a little smaller, I'd just say, you know, this is one of the better EDC knives out there. Um, but for me, 3.5 inches is a little big. Uh, so that's really the only two drawbacks I see on this knife are the, the grippiness of the handle texturing, which is definitely died down in the week and a half I've had this, and the overall size of the knife. 5.6 ounces, that's pretty heavy. This one is less. I think this is probably somewhere, you know, lower end fives, higher end fours, but still, it's a pretty big knife. So that kind of weight is to be expected. Um, I just prefer smaller knives, and so I naturally would uh, gravitate to something a little smaller. But as it is, this is one. This is clearly one of the better CRKT knives. And I do have to say that the limited edition stuff that CRT, CRKT has been putting out is just phenomenal. So uh, look for an overview coming soon, and this is the CRKT Bonafide.